my dear students i hope you all are healthy staying at your home doing all the studies regularly today we will start on new chapter from your book rs agarwal which is time and work so basically in this chapter we will learn some problem related to time and work and pipe and system so what is the main concept behind it suppose p can finish a work in 5 hours so a work is to be done by p in 5 hours so work done by p in 1 hour equal to 1 by 5 that means p can complete 1 by 5 of this work understood so p can finish if it is 5 hour then work done by p in 1 hour equal to 1 by 5 numerator will go to denominator this is the concept so in general if we can say that if p can finish it in n days so work done by p in one day equal to 1 by 8 understood whenever you have find that the, the p q or whatever any number or any name can finish in n days or x days or two days three days whatever that is or hour or month or year work done by that one in one whatever the unit is one by that number if it is two then it should be two if it is eight it should be eight okay so this is the basic concept related to time and work and if we do the problem related to pipe and system how we will do see in pipe and system there is two tap one is inlet another one is outlet so inlet means that means positive and outlet means that means negative now inlet means when a pipe fill a tank that pipe is called inlet and when a tank uh, when a pipe empty the tank that pipe is called outlet so if inlet means if it is filled in one n hours then in one hour the one by n part of the tank must be filled understood see same one by numerator so if it is filled in two hours then it should be one by two if it is filled in three hours one by three but here in outlet if it is empties in m hours it should be one by m and one minus it should be here understood because it empties the tank that's why minus one by m okay so this is the basics of the or the uh, or you can say these are the pillars of this chapter time and work so now we can go to the exercise okay now this is the first question question number 7 uh, question number 2 which is said that uh, ravi can do a piece of work in 15 hours while raman can do it in 12 hours how long will both take to do it if it, they work together that means how we will do the time taken by ravi 15 hours time taken by raman 12 hours work done per hour by ravi is 1 by 15 and work done per hour by raman is 1 by 12 now the question says that what is the required time if they work together that means 1 by 15 plus 1 by 12 because together that means 9 by 60 that means 9 by 20 so it is the work done now whenever you need to find the time that time reverse this number that's mean denominator go to numerator and numerator go to denominator which is equal to 20 by 3 hour that means 6 2 by 3 hour so this is the way to do this kind of problem this is a very easy chapter okay and scoreable also now in the second question that is question number 6 The question says A can do a piece of work in 24 hours while B alone can do it in 16 hours. If A, B, and C working together can finish it in 8 hours, then in how many hours can C alone finish the work? Now go through the question twice. They say A can complete in 24 hours, B can, alone can do it in 16 hours, and A, B, C can complete it in 8 hours. Then what is the required time for C if he working and all so time taken by a 24 hour work done by a 1 by 24 time taken by b 16 hour time work done by b 1 by 16 total time taken by abc 8 hour so work done by abc per hour is 1 by 8 so as we know that work done by abc together means work done by a plus work done by b plus work done by c but here we need to find the only the work done by c That means work done by A B C minus work done by B and minus work done by A. So work done by C equal to one by eight minus one by twenty four minus one by sixteen, which is equal to one by forty eight. That means C alone 
will take 48 hours to complete the work. Easy, easy problem. I, ho I hope that you understand the concept. Okay, now we will move forward to the next problem. The next problem says, this is the question number 10, that A can do 2 by 3 of a certain work in 16 days and B can do 1 by 4 of the same work in 3 days. So, in how many days can both finish the work if they are working together? So, see, till now we are discussing one of a certain work, okay, but here it is in fraction. No need to worry that A can do 2 by 3 work in 16 days. So, work done by A in one day equal to 2 by 3 of 16, which is equal to 2 by 48, which is equal to 1 by 24, okay. B can do 1 by 4 work in 3 days. So, work done by B in one day equal to 1 by 12. So, work done jointly by A and B in one day, which is equal to 1 by 24 plus 1 by 12. That means, 1 plus 12 by 24, which is equal to 3 by 24, which is equal to 1 by 8. So, A and B together will take 8 days to complete the work. Okay. Now, the next one, next one is uh, important problem that A and B can do piece of a piece of work in 12 days, B and C in 15 days and C and A in 20 days. Then how much time will A alone take to finish the job? Now here you see it is not mentioned that only A, only B can do a piece of work. Here A and B that means A plus B can complete the work in 12 days. Similarly B and C complete the, complete the work in 15 days and C and A can complete the work in 20 days. So basically A plus B is one day work is 1 by 12. B plus C is one day work is 1 by 15 and C plus A is one day work 1 by 20. Now if we add all the number that means if we say that what is the A plus B plus C is work done here 1 2 will come how see A 2 A's are there 2 B are there and 2 C's are there that means 2 into A plus B plus C is one day work which is equal to 1 plus 12 plus 1 plus 15 plus 1 plus 20. That means 12 by 60, 1 by 5. But 1, 2 is present. That means if we remove these two, we can write that A plus B plus C is 1 day work equal to 1 by 2 into 5, which is equal to 1 by 10. Only you need to remember or you need to careful this two. Okay. Afterward, we need to find that uh, A is 1 day work, which is equal to if we subtract the a plus b plus c is one day work minus b plus c then remain only a and this is 1 by 10 and this is 1 by 15 as it is mentioned in the question so 3 by minus 2 by 30 equal to 1 by 30 so a will take 30 days to complete the work if he works alone okay very easy problem but it will take some time to finish the problem so practice very now the question number 17. The question is little bit big. So go through the question. That A cistern has two inlets A and B. That means with the help of this A and B, the water will come and fill the tank. It in 12 minutes and 15 minutes respectively. And outlet C can empty the full cistern in 10 minutes. That means from with the help of this uh, tap C, water goes down and it is the cistern get empty. If all the three pipes are open together in the empty tank, how much time will they take to fill the tank completely? Okay. Now how we will do? So see, inlet A can fill in 12 minutes, inlet B can fill it in 15 minutes, outlet C empties in 10 minutes. Now part of the cistern filled by A, 1 by 12, part of the cistern filled by B, 1 by 15, and part of the cistern filled by C, that means 1 minus 1 by 10, it should be minus 1 by 10, you can write empty, not mention, okay, I will write empty, empties, okay, the part of the cistern empties by C, 1 minus 1 by 10, then part of the cistern filled by A plus B plus C, Field and empties both are same, no issue. 1 by 12 plus 1 by 15 minus 1 by 10. So, 5 plus 4 minus 6 by 60, 3 by 60, 1 by 20. So, the time required to fill the cistern with all inlets A, B, C open in 20 minutes. 
understand so this is the type of question you have to solve in your from your exercise and if you have any issue you can contact to me in the next class we will discuss another topic till then stay safe and stay healthy thank you everyone